Hi, this slide gets across a, a couple of simple but very powerful learning how to learn concepts. Uh, you'll notice that I, I took this from a, uh, an author, uh, Carol Dweck, who uh, wrote uh, Messages That Motivate. You can Google it and find this uh, on, the, on the net. She actually published a book also that incorporates these ideas. Um, and first she says, well, let's make a, di a, a distinction between, okay, wherever you are is great. That's fine. It is what it is. And we can always improve. So let's, let's catch you improving and, 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 and being on the path. And it's all about the process and continuous improvement as opposed to, oh, darling, nobody's smarter than you. Oh, darling, you are such a gifted fill in the blank. So you are the greatest. And of course, they're not because they're a kid. You know, they're not going to win a gold medal tomorrow. In other words, on a global, you know, human history basis, they're far from ever being the greatest. But when we put this burden on them, then they start to think, well, I don't I don't want to do anything that that might be trying to get better because then I might fail and then I wouldn't look like the greatest. So the truth of the matter is I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing and, and play against smaller, less competition so I can keep looking like I'm great in my little niche as opposed to in the bigger world, I'm really chopped liver. Um, a second concept, key concept here is the fixed mindset. Uh, you see this economic and politically when people say, okay, uh, we have to share the pie, the economic pie, the haves and the have-nots, and we need to raise taxes on the wealthy to transfer that money to the people that don't have as much. And the idea is that, oh, there's this pie. Where did the pie come from and who created the pie? And how could we make the pie a lot bigger for everybody? Uh, that would be a growth mindset to say, oh, it's all about creating an ever bigger pie and making sure that, that everybody's doing better. And some people may do lots better, but everybody is still doing better and everybody still has an equal opportunity as opposed to a collectivist socialist, let's take the pie and rationalize it uh, and, and, and split it and then nobody wants to create the pie because there's no reward for doing it and the pie starts to shrink and you basically ration the poverty. So, and you'll find people who are all about the rules and regulations to the to the crossing the T's and dotting the dot, the I's. They're all about the letter of the law as opposed to what's the spirit of the law? What are we trying to accomplish and where are we trying to grow to? They don't get that. They are just about enforcing and maintaining what they remember as being the past. So uh, to a certain degree, it's 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 it may be DNA uh, brain wiring. Uh, some people are just out of the box and always figuring out how to grow things. And other people are just, you know, died in the world, you know, clipboard whistle, catch people doing things wrong kind of people, uh, you know, rule enforcers. Uh, and, you know, in society, it's a place for both people. But basically, what we now to do, if we're going to go from being wherever we are to getting better, we have to, as a corporation, as a culture of a growth mindset, and we have to keep, you know, catching people doing things right and, and, and getting better from wherever they are, uh, moving along a path as opposed to saying, here's a rank report, somebody's great and somebody's the worst, and that's just all there is to it. And if you want to get great, you have to figure out how to do that. Um, you can read through um, these, uh, these, these uh, uh, little points if you want to, uh, but basically you find out that when, when, when kids have a concept of, you know, an open upside and wherever they are is fine and that by failing forward and making mistakes they learn and the more and if you keep putting a lot of effort in there and failing forward they're going to get better and there's no no limit to how good they can get they develop persistence and patience and grit and all the things that it takes to go into continuous learning whereas over here uh, these people are so scared of making a mistake and proving, disproving that they're the greatest that they just don't. They, they stay in their little cubicle and have to be a sort of an expert in a very small uh, provincial uh, downward comparing kind of way. They don't, they don't want to be in a bigger world and, and get exposed for, for, for not truly being the greatest. So those are some of the philosophical underpinnings that go behind uh, the whole pressure for mastery and catching people doing things right with praising statements that are built into the uh, hexagon system. Thank you.